This oh, is this is Friday night, so it must be the After Blab show. And is this is the blab that comes after the show, so, I should say. Okay. That's the way to put it. And the show is? Oh, this is the Wisdom Factory. Okay, we have a series about relationship in the Wisdom Factory. And here you see mm -hmm. our website, the wisdomfactory.de. And we have 12, 13 episodes. Mm -hmm. And if you go to our website, the wisdomfactory.de, you can find Stop the Relationship. And there is the program of all the participants. And there you can also access the replays forever. And the e replays. Forever. For, yeah, for oh, some year, I okay. guess. <laughs> and for, of all the episodes and also of the plabs. And I always cut out the things, the organizational things of plab where we say, oh, can you hear me? Can you not hear me? Can you uh, mute yourself and stuff like this? Mm -hmm. I cut it out. And so you will have the enjoyment of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about evolutionary entrepreneurship and relationships. What has opened up for you when you heard the, the talk? The talk. Mm -hmm. uh, relationship, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the shit was uh, the decision to be honest in attraction to somebody else. We decided in our couple to be honest, to tell each other mm -hmm. little attraction to somebody else. And that was painful. We were crying together. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is relationship. Yes. <laughs> this is relationship. Okay. And I don't know what to yeah. do to save my partner, not telling him if I have attraction to somebody else, quick attraction, simple physical attraction, not soul attraction, or not to tell. So he would like to, to, to be honest. But if he, if he says, something like that to me, I feel that I prefer not to know, not to hear about that. Oh. I start crying. Well, that's, mm -hmm. This is the problem with transparency yeah. mm -hmm. and we need to know where to be transparent and where mm -hmm. maybe not and if we are strong enough to hear the, the truth, mm -hmm. you know. This Do is, I think this is a do we need what? do we need such a truth which hurts um well the truth is not for hurting other people that's true uh but you're going to hear some things that you don't want to hear and they and they will too uh we we this is kind of a trick i don't know if it works in all situations but I often tell Heidi, this is just for your information. I'm telling you about me. It doesn't mean I'm going to do anything. It's just what I'm thinking, what occurred to me, you know? And so it kind of takes the personal edge off it. It's just information about this computer here. You yes, know? Exactly, and, uh, exactly what I mean. But uh, that hurts me. I, I know clearly that he is not planning to do that, and I am not planning to do that, but it hurts me anyway. I am starting to cry. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, hold each other while you cry. Yeah. <laughs> hold each other close while you cry. Um, when yeah. I cry, I feel that I should be uh, single, single lady, single soul. Uh, the thing is, you know, I know from experience that when we don't say things, uh, then and the other one 
uh, discovers it later, then it's worse. Then it hurts. But the thing is, we should find the right moment and the right way to say things, you know? And I don't know how it happened with you. And I would like to go to talk a little bit about what we have heard before with Lisa and Kim. Mm -hmm. They both couldn't come, but I think we have heard quite a lot. And I I wonder how how it landed with you. Uh, Christina, you were there. I know that for sure. I don't know with Naira. Yeah, it it's it was it is important and it's authentic to be ourselves, whatever we do. Were you able to to hear the show with Lisa and and um, and Kim? No, unfortunately not. So I'm uh, calling in mm -hmm. to hear the after talk to see what mm -hmm. you guys picked up. So uh, yeah, good. So what did we pick up? We we picked up kind of reinforcements of things that we sort of knew anyway, but it was good to hear them uh, repeated in, in personal direct terms, you know, like they were talking with us, you know, not to a group of students, etc. And yeah. so it was kind of tailored to... Uh, especially to Heidi and her personal experience in the show, because she's known uh, uh, Lisa for close to two years now. No, right. More more than two? Yeah, yeah. Well, three or four, even. Oh, my goodness, almost <laughs> as long as I've known you. Oh, <laughs> All right. And, and, and it was just, you know, a, a repeat of, you know, we all have great things that we know, things that we could share, things we like, other people to know about and at the same time sooner or later we, we've got to make some money you know yeah now, that's not the only bottom line but it is an important bottom line otherwise we we can't continue indefinitely unless we have some other uh sorts of income and so that sometimes is a, creates a little anxiety a little panic a little, you know, inauthenticity because it makes it. We tend then to, to try to cut corners, in uh, uh, and, and just try to sell uh, yeah. rather than uh, be authentic in who we are and let our message be our. Yeah, it is yeah. a little bit this. Um, you know what is also in spirituality that yeah. everything should be free. And Lisa and Kim, they are. Uh, teaching a way that you can that you can uh, do this in a different way, you know, mm -hmm. that is not pushy marketing and stuff, but uh, they explain how to create uh, first of all relationships. If it's personal, it's even better. But she mm -hmm. also recommended to go into Facebook groups where people talk about things. Um, or other groups, mm -hmm. uh, and not not tell your stuff mm -hmm. first, but uh, uh, listen to what these people say and what the arguments say. She, she says a social listening, uh, so that you know who would be interested in what you in what you offer, for instance, mm -hmm. and then you can connect with them mm -hmm. and not just uh, throw the stuff over everybody, you know? And okay, this... so we shouldn't try to sell Henry right away. No. We should develop a relationship with yeah. him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ask him what he's interested in. Yes. And yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Anyway, it's worth listening to because it's um, it's helping because you know, when when you come from the spiritual background and all these things, you mm -hmm. have a sort of shame to ask money. And we women even more. You know, I was mm -hmm. telling in the show that I was so used to, to work for nothing, you know, with help the husband, help these people, help those people. And I, often I end up with guests who come here. I, I do coaching with them, but I don't get money for it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's so normal. And I, I always say I would really like to have a lot of money so that I can do uh, everything for free. And I think in my life it's really that I have to learn to to get. I mean, when I was um, a singing teacher, I got money. And I mm -hmm. got a lot of students and they came and they, they, I, they liked it and they came and gave me the money. But if somebody not paid, for instance, or they didn't come and didn't want to pay, I always had a problem, 
the mm -hmm. set because how you know but it's my time and then they don't want to pay you have to say it before at least the day before that i can organize and to make these um conversations for me is extremely difficult mm -hmm. and i think for several people it's difficult so i enjoy what they are saying and how they themselves uh, get the word out you mm -hmm. know about their things it's about change makers so we mm -hmm. want to make a change and we have to make a change also in our perspective and you know in american english we need to make change which means <laughs> make money <laughs> But yes. uh, this is I'm curious about how do you see the relationship between like the beige survival and the, the orange is like the selling and the green who sees like it's shameful to ask for money and uh, and uh, that stuff about yeah money is all a shame thing yeah mm -hmm. and and even for blue mm -hmm. it, you, yeah, you shouldn't yeah. need to be yeah. in survival mm -hmm. mode yeah. you know you should have done a career when you are 60 you should be in pension have a good pension and not worry anymore yeah. about money mm -hmm. so yeah this be is in the system so this, to say yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And with green, you are not necessarily in the system, but it's still it's shameful to ask for money, no? Yeah. Uh, so actually, it depends on who we're talking to, what kind of language we would use. But it really, our our what we have to say is only going to appeal to green. You know, maybe right. orange are yeah. what we have to sell. Yeah. We, what we want to offer, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But it's an interesting question. I haven't thought about it because the base level is sort of shameful, you know, and that then you would need to have an orange way, but the orange way for green people, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. And so what Lisa and, and Kim try to do is uh, not to do it in this traditional orange way, but to, to up-level it, to, to bring it more into a, a way which green could accept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's great. I come across like, uh, you know, the Charles Eisenstein. Uh, I think you guys ha had a seminar on that uh, um, mm -hmm. some time mm -hmm. ago. But uh, he's talking about living in the gift and uh, this yeah. gift economy and uh, basic income and stuff like that. So, and when you have the concept of basic income, that gives you some freedom that you, you're not for the base level, that your people are not dependent to do what they want to do in life that is meaningful and purposeful if they have a basic income so they can concentrate on on doing what they like and uh, give to the world what's their purpose in life but if they are all stressed up by survival and more uh, or house loans and stuff like that they try to trick themselves and others into marketing and they don't feel so comfortable maybe i don't know mm -hmm. what, what what are your thoughts on that I, i'm wondering what would happen to a, a beige person if those kinds of immediate needs were not so pressing that they were taken care of by by a, a minimum income for example they would uh, have more possibility to grow. I mean, everybody. I sometimes really think it would be so perfect if you have the minimum income. Then you wouldn't need to, to go into the survival mode because often it is only a feeling. It is not necessarily reality that you are in survival struggles. But yeah. you, the fear of a future, no? Yeah. Uh, when you will be next year what will be when we are old you know and this isn't necessarily reflecting the reality but 
if you had a sort of uh, basic money that you know you don't have to live under the bridges and you have enough to eat, even maybe not the stuff you would like to eat, caviar and and and, and <laughs> not champagne, what salmon and stuff, <laughs> not champagne, but you can eat. Ah, uh, I know. Then Bayes will form a tribe out of the people under the bridge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Purple bridge people. Yes. Yeah. Good, good. So they go up. Now. Yeah. Uh -huh. So and can uh, take care of one another and, and have a real connection. As far as I know, purpose. where they tried out this minimum income uh, for everybody, it has worked. Only mm -hmm. very few people did do anything. Most people did really finally what they wanted to do. You so. know, I'm afraid of that. Why? I might not do anything. And then what, who, who would, what, how would I think of myself, you know? <laughs> Just information, not, not that I'm going to. <laughs> what is, so, first of you, you, Henrik, what is your idea about that? Would it help you or would it? Well, I think it would help me in some respect to, um, to feel secure, but uh, now... Um, to to take on uh, adventures and projects that uh, that I want to realize in some respects. Now I have to. Um, I like my job, but some part of the job is more survival, and if I want to um, broaden the uh, my horizon or take on other projects and jobs, then I get into um, conflict. So, so uh, you sort of get stuck with, with a regular job and you don't want to, to skip and try new things. And then, then you're, if you would have basic un income, it will feel safer to, to expand and explore but I may also uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm not sure really but uh, they're trying out this in Holland I think and some other places but then um, I also uh, think about what about the the red part of uh, the red level of uh, people <laughs> uh, would that uh, part the um, exploit systems like that or would they grow into uh, blue eventually and and move on easier i don't know i haven't thought about that yeah let us first welcome christina and she has posted what about to be worthy of money to ask for let us go a moment there okay yeah mm -hmm. uh, for me it's so obvious that i don't have felt uh, valuable enough to ask for money for my I, I'm very bad at uh, um, asking for money for the things I do and I think it's it's the, it's grounded in my a deep sense of I'm not worthy and I have uh, discovered it this late 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 uh, the last month I have discovered it more fully. And I think it's it's a woman thing too in in old 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 <laughs> patterns and stuff. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So I, I would I know in Finland they are trying this uh, what Henrik was talking about and, and I think it would be very, very good. Um at the same time, we have developed to to grow ourselves and and find out our old patterns that's hindrance from from making money. For me, it's so obvious mm -hmm. and not worthy enough. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so. Yeah, I guess I guess it, I guess okay. the struggle is to embrace yourself uh, uh, with um, with love. Uh, Big enough, so you want to take more risks and, 
and the hunger of life. Yeah, but I, I, I found I have, I have worked, I, I have tried that too, but it's, it's more deep than that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, but I, I have yeah. met uh, a very nice person who can, uh, and I pay her for it to help me with this. <laughs> so I will solve it. Mm -hmm. But I found it so important because I think it's so, uh, women are, are earning less money than men and, and uh, we, we, we put up to things that we shouldn't do if we were valuable enough. It's, uh, it's this, this I found a CD called uh, uh, Healing of the Core um, uh, Unworthiness. Needs. Unworthiness. The core core uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 scars of unworthiness. Mm -hmm. And it's true. It's so true. It's, it's, uh, and it's, it's, he says it's a Western thing that we take it personally. We're, we are ashamed of, over our. our unworthiness and and it's you take it personally in the eastern cultures it's not personal it's not something else but in the western we are we are feeling uh, unworthiness but i guess um if you believe in the story of your unworthiness then it gets scary i guess and uh, and uh, life closes in on yeah. you and it's harder to feel the space of but it, it's it's from it it i didn't know it was like this this i this it has been unconscious unconscious i didn't know it was like this it's, yeah it's this uh, an uh, uh, an event when it's an i heard some words saying to me and i felt very very hurt mm -hmm. and then i understand what's the ground what what's the, the source of it, and I haven't known mm -hmm. known this before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a uh, side of you you were, weren't aware. No, of, um... no, I, I, I did, I, I didn't know it was like this. I didn't know it. It came mm -hmm. out like a shock. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm not the only one. I think we are, I, 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 not at all. Ninety eight percent of of the people in the Western countries are. Or have these old um, patterns, and and uh, and he explains it very very good. So I, I know it's for sure it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think people who are oh don't have no problem with with asking for money and and ask they they don't even question to take money for what they are doing. Yeah, they wouldn't do anything mm -hmm. without. And, and I think it, it can be combined by being uh, this, what the, the girls before talked about, to being honest and, and uh, uh, vulnerable and, and all the things they said, because they, they provide an, 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 a heartful uh, business and, and asking for money is no problem. So I think it's connected. This is yeah. a deep connection. It's definitely, definitely, I guess so. But, but I also is, I would like to invite um, myself and uh, more people than me. But um, I, I'm fascinated with this. Uh, I saw it on uh, YouTube. Um, a guy who wanted to explore himself by doing the Assisi move, uh, Franciscus of Assisi. Mm -hmm. The uh, monk in uh, Italian monk in the uh, 1300s. Uh, he, he, he lives nearby. He's everything. a neighbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he gave away everything, all his wealth, and he wanted to live in the gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was this uh, modern guy, now contemporary, and he, he did this experiment for a period of time and wanted to be, um, um, you know, asking for, he went around and asked people for money. He said he needed some food, some shelter, and, and um, tried to survive the day that way to, to really be vulnerable to and in mutuality of everyone to to see what that would take him. 
And how ended what, it? What he, uh, well, uh, he was, and he was like having a video diary. Hmm. So he, he, t- he was like, oh, I'm really, really scared now. And I, I'm hungry and people don't seem to want to give me right now. And oh, now they give me. And <laughs> he was like a roller coaster, <laughs> like life. <laughs> uh-huh. So it, it uh, it's not for some if we're very want safety at the maximum feel safe maybe if we want to explore and more uh, live it more adventurously i know what what do you guys think of this it's not for me to do in a way i know it for sure <laughs> it, it's not my way <laughs> But it's no, I was thinking that it's interesting because it, there's a woman living in, I think, in Germany or, or somewhere in the middle of Europe who has been traveled around with no money and, and survived for quite a long time. So it, they, they, right. there are exp- experiments in, in this kind of living. Mm-hmm. It's possible. Gives you some kind of freedom. Yeah, yeah. but it, it takes some special kind of person, I think, to do that. It's not for me. I know it for sure. (laughs) I need to have my home. (laughs) Yes. But my home can be anywhere, but I need to have a a place to to, uh, stay at the rest. Yes. I was thinking about... Mark and Heidi, what do you think? Yeah, I was thinking (laughs) about the, the minimum income that would allow people uh, to to not stay in relationships, for instance, mothers with children, uh, only because of uh, of the money. You know, they they wouldn't uh, have yeah. to, and all the uh, people children anyway, with mothers. children yeah. with mothers, yeah. yeah, and often the fathers disappear, mm-hmm. or the other way around sometimes mm-hmm. too, but normally it's in this way. So if everybody had a guaranteed uh, minimum income and even the children as they normally have in our states parents get some sort of uh, money for for the children then it would be different but when if you have to fight for for the subsi- subsistence subsistence of your ex partner uh, you many relationships will be staying together because you know it is a different mm-hmm. thing yeah good thing if you don't have a job to say okay i'm going you know uh, when you have a certain age and i'm thinking about christina yeah. and and would be also me and some mm-hmm. it's uh, um it's difficult if if i had uh, if yeah. i knew this is uh, i've thought some money on the other hand when i separated from the partner i was here in in italy with whom i bought this house together and i had no income and no job and nothing it urged me to really find out what I know to do and get money for that, you know. So it, it's both. It's it, it's difficult to decide, you know. But I, at the moment, I would be happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would happy to to know I have this, and always, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, or we were thinking about maybe selling the house in a way that we get uh, every month, I don't know, 2,000 euros or so, so, so we can go somewhere else and live something like this, you know, uh, that you have a regular mm-hmm. income, which I sort of never had. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's, the older you get, the more you, you at, at least to me, it happens, uh, this, this fear of not being safe, mm-hmm. so... Uh, yeah. When you are young, then you know. I mean, I still know that I I don't die. You know, I will find something to do if if, if I have nothing to to eat. Also, that's that's not the problem. But this 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 psychological thing which is coming in, and I think in our generation it's even worse than in your generation. In your generation, you are already grown with more the sense of adventure, and in America, it's also less than in. In Europe, I think this uh, confidence that you find a new job, that you find something else to do. Oh, and to I found so many new jobs. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily what you like. Not but, necessarily what I like to do. Oh, kitty! But, oh, kitty! Oh. But is it, is it, isn't isn't um, isn't the problem like I see that 
for instance, there is so much uh, pressure in the system, like um, social services and stuff like that, and pension, that you get caught up in a blue system, and that makes you scared of taking risks because then you're you if you don't have basic income and you get you're looking for safety, then you don't want to. Exp- you stop exploring and taking mm-hmm. risks when you get older, mm-hmm. but when you're younger, you take uh, you're not so locked in the system. Mm-hmm. So everything is like an open arena, mm-hmm. and then you stop uh, looking at the at the field as you grow older, and that sort of scares me and saddens me. So, and um, I want to try to stay open and. And um, you know, push myself to a more look, be a more alive and looking at the world, yeah. not being just caught in the system of work, yeah. working nine to five. And yeah. yep, it's it's it can be a trap, and it's a real pressure. Uh, when you're in those middle years, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, where uh, you're trying to do and get and grow and become and uh, and have all the uh, the nice things of life, you know, to, to have a place yeah. of your own, you know, to be able to afford to have a vacation, to, uh, if you like, have a car, etc. Uh, this just those the stuff that keeps you working, 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 working. And, and, uh, and it yeah. seems like there's a purpose to what you're doing. But, you know, by the time you're in your 50s or so, it says, now, I was working for that shit, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you change your purpose. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and I'm at the age now where I do have a subsistence income. I have Social Security from, yeah. from America, which is just subsistence. I could live on it. Just. You know, just. just. Uh-huh. Yeah. But she couldn't. No, she, there's only enough for me. I'm sorry. You know, so. And if you die, I don't get anything. Then I'm... Oh. No, nothing. That's right. <laughs> no. Yep. You have to be alive to get it. Yeah. That's the only thing you have to be, though. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think with the uh, uh, general income for everybody, the the energies would be freed up, oh, yeah. and we could really take the time to find what we want to do and do what we want to do, and then find also ways, as Lisa and Kim teach it, ways to get money for that, because the minimum income is minimum. You just, you know... But if you want a little bit more, you you need to get more money. But at least you don't have to take a job which you don't like just for for surviving and needing to pay the bills. You know, I think it would be freeing up a whole lot of energies and even the red people. I I think what you said before, they want more, and for to get more, they have to do something. You know, so yeah. They have to do more red stuff. It's just to prevent them from needing to go to Lidl's and back. Yeah. You know, uh, and yeah. I'm getting so tired of all the beggars, you know. The, the, it's it's yeah. really, and if this, if they have the in, minimum income, you can, we can have a more clear conscience saying you, you get the money for survival. So you don't have to stay there and yeah. now find something you like to do and mm-hmm. do it, you know. Big challenge for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, but this is educational, and yeah. they will go into blue, for instance, no? what we said before. Yeah. Then they, they have to find a way to, if they want to have more, to go into the system. And many people still have to go into the system while we want to go out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, many people are still trying, struggling to, to survive. To, and to get yeah. into it. Get a yeah. job and a... Uh, mm-hmm. A living yeah. place mm-hmm. yeah and they still have to go mm-hmm. into yeah and i also think many people yeah. are on the wrong working places they sh- need to change their um, occupation to something else and this was would be an opportunity to to change mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and if you have to fear that you don't get a job, you don't leave the job, which you don't like, you know? Mm -hmm. So this, yeah. this, this would give you freedom to... It's a little bit what we get at the disoccupation money for a year or something, no? Mm. That uh, you have a possibility to not uh, starve and look for a new job. But sometimes it takes longer. I'm yeah. now about four yeah. years that I have left uh, teaching, singing. And, you know, I'm still not at the point, far away from the point what I earned before. So, yeah. yeah. But don't, don't so, you think... Uh, uh, Heidi, don't you think you, you two are working on something new and you have to, you are just practicing a lot of things now and it will show up because it, it's a kind of like our life's journey, what we are meant to do. Yeah. And, and this is part of it to be in this situation that I am for now. It's, it's, it's a part mm. of my life's journey. So it's more to this than just. But, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. It's exciting, and it's like an adventure, I think. And I, it I is guess, an adventure. Yeah, yeah. and I, I'm so sure about Heidi and Mark that you are on a, on a uh, something very, very new and good, and, and if you will get income. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my, you my experience... Yeah, yes. my experience yeah. is like this, that it always worked out. It took yeah. some time and always worked out. But, you know, as you said before, there are these conditionings, and I know them, I know them, but it doesn't mean that you, I, I, at the moment, I feel like I'm living on a grade, you know, I could fall down, and I can also be on the other side, so some, some days I'm completely confident, sometimes I think, oh, no, or if it's only hours, but this is never, never, this complete confidence. What right. I, yeah, what I, for instance, see in Lisa, we, we talked about in the, in, the, in the series with her, and she grew up with this confidence that she can do everything what she wants to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? And we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, we, didn't. Uh, exactly. we sort of, oh, you better, you better do that. This is better for a woman. Mm -hmm. And yeah, singing, when I wanted to sing, oh, this is not a job, you know, you can never... Uh, make your living with singing and so I always came afterwards discovered the things mm -hmm. afterwards uh, and a little late so this is the conditionings in which we live and also I'm in the state to be able to see it it's not that they don't come back <laughs> <laughs> but Heidi don't, don't, Heidi don't you feel you have grown a uh, 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 Tremendous much this last years, even since I met you for the first time. It's, it, you are you are developing. It's so obvious. <laughs> so you will you will you will get where yeah. You are great. Yes, of course you are great together. And, and yeah. from the yeah. He's my yeah, I have to say I have to say yeah. that too. I mean, since your um, since all your hosting of these uh, wisdom factories there. Can see so there's happening a lot of things. Uh, yeah, by you, you're growing and emerging. By you, you're just hosting these and yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah, new, new difference. ways. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, thank you for yeah. for the recognition. I know that too, but you know, you, from Christina, you know, yeah. thousand people can say, "Yo, you are worthy, you are worthy, or you are good, and you are good," or whatever the false beliefs is. And unless you do believe it yourself, really, <laughs> they can, yeah. millions of people can do it. <laughs> That's yeah. not that I don't. That I think we. I'm. I'm. Un, un, unable or something really not i i know that and i yeah. i thank you for the for the mirroring you know mm -hmm. that we are getting better and better in many things you know what i think sometimes the more you grow the more you get aware yeah so there are more things coming in that might bother you it's before you haven't seen it all you know? but i didn't know anything right? yeah. lucky i'm knowing Lucky not knowing. In some yeah. way, in some way, yeah. But I prefer yeah. to have it like this. It's so, yeah, I prefer it. It's exciting, but I, 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 and, and it, this, this is so important with this unworthiness in the bottom of us, in, in the core 
core wound of unworthiness. I, I will send yes. you the guy's name who get who I get this uh, CD from because it's it's okay. Okay. revelation. Well, but, but I wanted to say, we have all to struggle with something, you know, <laughs> it is different in everybody, but as long as we can be a sort of a community and when somebody is down and somebody comes and lifts you up, that, uh, this is important because we cannot pretend that the life is always on uh, <laughs> Cloud seven or yeah, something, okay. you know. Uh, there, uh, there are the other moments too, and for not to fall down into the negative things, we need other people to to say, okay, what you said just mm -hmm. now. No, this is, is is nice. That is to hear that. It is really reminding me of this inner child, which is uh, uh, okay. This is visible. Mm -hmm. It's not only yeah, good. Okay, you can be quiet. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm being with you. I mean, this is my inner child. I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a reminder that you make a difference. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is this important is to to know mm -hmm. in some in some way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, at the end, they say you should do it anyway. We do it anyway, but it's nice to know that there is a resonance. Oh yeah. Because you, otherwise, you have. <coughs> I remember Jeff Sorsman. You know, he when we told him how yeah. how we follow him and how we like it, he said, "Oh, this is so good to hear. When you are doing this, you think you." throw it out into the ether and who knows if there's anybody to listen to. Yeah. You know? yeah. oh, we caught him on a bus in Hungary. Yeah, yeah. And he was pleased to and know that. So he didn't know who we were or anything. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yeah, you have connected I'm... to a lot of, of people and you... Uh, Heidi, you are a great coach, you, and you know it. Uh, of course, you do. You you listen, and you listen more than many other people do. And you understand more. Well, than I listen a lot. Ah, uh, you listen a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't told you. For as a man, as I, I listen a lot. For a man. <laughs> I when we got to know uh, each other, when we came together, he always accused me that I'm not listening to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he lived in the false belief that nobody would listen to him. And I said, I sit here all the time. I listened all the time. Don't you see that? Mm -hmm. And he, he needed to realize that I was listening. Uh -huh. Now sometimes it happens that I don't listen. When he's sitting there, I'm mm -hmm. sitting here working, and he says something to me, and I'm working, and I don't listen. But at the beginning, it was really the, the this false belief no, I'm. He doesn't. Maybe you have. I'm not worth it. But yeah, you I'm, used to I'm listen not to. Listen me. to not no. so much anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, mm. everybody carries something like that into the world. Some mm. some idea, and mm. unless you have the confrontation, I wouldn't say, but the 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 possibility to see what the other people tell you, you know. I'm listening. I really do listen, and I could tell him the whole story. He had told me, and he needs to understand. Needed to understand that I do listen, and that it was his idea of of uh, how the world is. You know, he's invisible, and and what what a great thing he is doing now. No, he is speaking out, yeah. and and uh, I'm. I mean, I talk more, but <laughs> he's talking too. <laughs> Now you tell me that I don't listen. There's been a change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there has. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I have to leave, leave you guys now. Yeah. Okay. So you are I'll, out of thank the... you for this evening. And, uh, yeah, thank you that you came in. It uh, was really, really good. Really nice to talk to you, Henry. Yeah. Really good. Nice. I wanted to talk to you about how uh, unworthiness might be expressed at every level of the spiral. Yeah, we'll do another plan about week. that. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Bye. I would. I would. I'd listen to uh, Ken Wilber uh, on 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 YouTube about meditation and men and women. And I would really like mm -hmm. to know the difference because he, he said it was a difference between, between men and women. He said men can stare into the wall hour after hour mm -hmm. after hour, but women need something else. 
and I was so touched by it because I have been Zen meditating and I wanted something more, uh, something otherwise. And this speech was 10 years ago he had. So I wonder if he had yeah. some new thoughts in that. So well, he's, he's teaching a meditation he's now. He's doing a course, a course on meditation. next week or the other week. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I, I recall him, him saying that, yeah. Uh, it, men who could stare at walls, yeah. you know, the Tibetan monks who just sat there and mm -hmm. did that. But what what was it that he characterized women as doing in meditation? As I was uh, remembering that men aspire to trans, uh, transcendence mm -hmm. up, psh, 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 out mm -hmm. of the body, and women have more this, oh, the they downward. need to go into the body and mm -hmm. into the earth, connected mm -hmm. with the earth, and not so much connected with, yeah. I don't know and where. Helping, and helping so. people, and helping, because he, he was talking about Mother Teresa, I, I think, that, that uh, mm -hmm. women want to to lick other uh, lepers, uh, those who are very very sick with sores, and and they want to heal mm -hmm. heal, and they don't want to to go. Uh, yeah, he, he explained it like that, but it's ten years ago. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I think mm -hmm. generally women want to be more in the world, yeah. and be concerned and do something in the world, which is helpful and which is makes sense yeah. why men have more the tendency to go mm -hmm. somewhere else in their mm -hmm. ideas they live much more yeah. in their heads yeah. and i think uh, these traditional uh, meditation schools they are normally founded by men yeah so this is their way of doing and i'm not necessarily the idea that uh, sitting meditation is the best thing i think it's good for a while but i wouldn't do it anymore as i did for a while many hours a day mm. because I don't think it is our this is our our nature our nature is more caring and caring is for instance cut the flowers you know mm. or t take care of, of the of the of the salad plants something like this this can be a meditation mm. you don't have to, to to sit like this and go into emptiness or whatever you know this is this is more the the, the masculine that's my idea yeah more communion that's we have more agency. communion more embracing mm -hmm. you know uh, please yeah. More, yeah. more heart centered or something like that yeah okay. belly centered almost <laughs> <laughs> but that's belly centered oh, we all that's got belly, so. belly centered that's sand meditation it's going down to mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would like to know more mm -hmm. about it because I, not struggling, but I'm questioning all this now. So I found it where mm -hmm. it was Scott Marshall who who had a link to, to Ken Wilber where he was uh, wired to his brain, and then I yeah. found the other yeah. one, and also about mm -hmm. the ego. He what which was very very interesting that we 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 think we should get rid of our ego, but we not. We are going to be fully alive in our in our competent and powerful ego. It, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, it was very interesting speech and both from 2006. Yeah, yeah. yeah. before he was a... Before he got sick. Yeah, um, the, the thing with the ego, yeah. the traditions, the mm -hmm. Eastern traditions were formed in a time when we in integral speak between red and blue. Mm -hmm. So these religions brought people into blue. This means in the traditional state where the rules are important and obeying to the rules mm -hmm. because they had to fight against this egocentric thing. Only me, me, no, only I. And I, I can, if yeah. you, if you blame me, I can kill you. You know, mm -hmm. this was before. And, um, for, for to avoid this, for, even for a certain sense of survival of mm -hmm. a society, when people come so near together, they had to form rules. They had to accept to live within rules. And this is what religions did. They provided the rules how to be together with each other. And then, for instance, meditation or prayer or whatever. Mm -hmm. So... In yeah. that mindset, the yeah. ego, which was immediately before the egocentric state, was the bad guy. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's clear they wanted to overcome this ego, mm -hmm. this ego, which was, okay. you know, which and, is just a sense of self, you know, which purple didn't have and red did. 
it, it knew it was separate from the other person. There it was wanted distinction. to express yeah. the separateness, yes. you know, and, and yeah. But there wasn't a psychological ego, you know. Yeah. Uh, that that's an inv something we've come to much later. Yeah, you know? and I wanted to say when we go on in the dis development. We don't fight anymore against this ego in the sense because we do it in this stages where the religions were born. So in the meantime, we as society, at least in the Western world, we are grown up into further stages and we still are concerned with the ego, that one. Yeah. Not really, yeah. you know, we need ego development. We have done ego development, but it's a different ego. It's a sense of self which has developed, but it's not that ego where the religions were fighting against this outrageous ego, which had no, no, no rules. conscience. And for me, yeah. it's still this confusion everywhere yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. about what, what ego is and you should fight the ego yeah. and drop the ego. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, depends what you understand with yeah, ego, yeah. you know, we need a strong ego, yeah, really, yeah. if you want to change the world, we need a strong ego, like Jesus, yeah. if he didn't have had a strong ego, he wouldn't have done what he did, no. mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> <laughs> but an ego, not the one which is Killing, not the one which is thinking I'm, I'm king of the world. omnipotent, yeah. I'm, the, I'm God, you know, not that one, but the healthy ego, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it's very, very interesting that this confusion is still everywhere. Yeah. I had mm -hmm. a show on Monday, I was invited with Melanie Hall. And there came this topic came up too did. with mm -hmm. ego and I tried to explain it too, you know. There's nothing wrong with a healthy ego. Nothing. Yeah, I, we need yeah. it. <laughs> I think we we use a lot of words and and uh, um, what the words uh, meaning of the words, but it doesn't show anymore. It's another uh, meaning than it was before, and yeah. then we use it as 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 a back sack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in the current understanding of ego, you'd say that. You know, someone without an ego would be a borderline personality, you know, because yeah. they are the ones who have not developed a sense of self. And it's really tragic as yeah. far as yeah. their personal life is concerned. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need, we do really yeah. need an ego. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what the expressions of ego, for instance, the, the, what we learned in feminine power with this um, false beliefs things. This is how our ego, ego, uh, the not so healthy ego is expressing itself in the world. You know, yeah. when we believe, oh, I'm unsafe or I'm not loved or I'm not worthy. This is part of an unhealthy ego, but it's mm -hmm. not to throw away. We have to learn it in feminine power. The more you want to throw it away and squeeze it, the more, the more it, it is governing yeah. you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we need to embrace yeah. it and know, ah, that's mm -hmm. now my... Love uh, that little child. Okay, love that little child. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or Enneagram, for instance, the type you are in. This is the expression of your not so healthy ego. And then you can work to make it healthier, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But not with killing it or <laughs> fighting it yeah. or whatever. Denying it. Denying it, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that is that's my idea. Yeah, but I, 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 that was quite an idea. I think you, your idea is true because I heard it's what you resist persists. I heard it yesterday or, or, and, and I understand it because I think we live in, in an unconscious way sometimes about the past yeah. is now for us now, but we know, uh, we know more than we, I think I know more than I believe I do because I have an mm -hmm. old way of thinking of me and it doesn't, it isn't correct anymore. And when, we, have, when, we, when yeah. we are developing a new a change, it, we ha it takes time. It doesn't go over a night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And this is why we do these things, these, uh, 
these community gatherings, let's say, to talk together and yeah. to to support each other, you know, mm-hmm. in that because it's it's time and we we need some support. And I'm so glad to f- have found him because alone is really difficult. And I had the family and power group uh, support. This was good for a long time, you know. This uh, we need s- some some support wherever it comes from of one person or several people we need that to to keep us from falling down into the abyss of the ego let's say of the false beliefs of the conditioning and mm-hmm. fall back into unconscious ways yeah. of of being no mm-hmm. yeah. it's it's like our heart our heart ego our uh, from from um governs not not the health yes. one yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah exactly yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay uh we are we are now qu- qu- the over an hour here mm-hmm. and i thank you really christina for yeah, you. your being there being with us and showing up and Oh. It's really great. I yes, remember the you. time when you said, "I will talk with everybody." This is my <laughs> <laughs> my task. Oh, yeah. yep. And now yeah, you are here you. on video. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is really great. Mm-hmm. Really, really great. Thank you. Thank you. Thousands are watching her at this moment. No, thousands. <laughs> no, no. no. But, <laughs> but somebody. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you next week. Yeah, bye see bye. you. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.